Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're receiving DXGI error with the game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is for AMD users. Uh, you can install this AMD optional update that is 25.3.2. So you can you can go to AMD website. So in Google search, you can search for this update and then go to AMD website. Scroll down over here, you can see this AMD 25 dot three dot two optional update you can click on this file and once the download is complete you can just click on this exe file run this exe file install it and after the installation restart your computer and then launch the game still not working the next step is to disable integrated intel or amd graphic card in device manager so if you have a laptop with dual graphic card make a right click on the start menu and then go to device manager now over here expand display adapter in my case the integrated graphic card is intel so if you have amd you can just make a right click and then click on disable device so disable your integrated graphic card and then you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to if you are able to launch the game try window mode set volumetric effects to go quality to low so you can try this if you are able to launch the launcher or if you are able to launch the game if you are not able to launch the launcher or game then you can skip this step and then follow the next step so go to options now over here select window mode this has worked for many players so it might work for you so make sure that you set it to window mode first and then you can launch the game and then check if that does not work in that case set volumetric effects quality to low so you can go to graphics and find this option here you can see volumetric effects quality in my case it's already low so if this is set to medium you can try low or you can even try high so i will set it to low now you can launch the game and then check still not working turn off dynamic resolution scaling now this has also worked for many players so it might work for you so over here uh, you can see dynamic resolution scaling for many users it was set to 144 or 60 uh, if this is set to 144 you can try 60 30 or you can simply turn it off and then you can check turn off frame generation so to turn off frame generation here you can see if this is enabled you can just turn it off and then check turn off nvidia reflex now for this you can go to graphics uh, go to display over here and over here you can see nvidia reflex low latency you can turn this off and then you can launch the game and then check you can even try vsync on or off so for this you can again go to options and then if the vsync is on you can turn it off and then check if the vsync is already off you can turn it on and then check for few players selecting this half refresh rate has also worked so you can even try this so try on off half try each and then check which one is working fine for you refresh rate to 60 hertz so here you can see refresh rate you can set this to 60 hertz and then you can check so you can do the same thing in game settings as well you can go to options and do the same thing so you can go to display you can set it to window mode then you can set the volumetric effects quality to low so you can just scroll down and find the option so, so graphics option you can click on show graphics option and over here you will find volumetric here you can see volumetric effects you can set it to low so do the same thing in in game settings and then you can check the performance now the next step is to use legacy display icc color management in the game exe file now if you're facing black screen issue this might help it has worked for many players so it might work for you so make a right click on the game select manage now click on browse local files scroll down over here you can see this exe file make a right click on the exe file select properties and then go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says use legacy display icc color management and then hit apply click on ok do the same thing with the cxc file properties go to this tab put a check over here and then hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to allow the game exe file to your 
malware bytes if so if you're using malware bytes antivirus program you can allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now or you can simply disable you can disable your malware bytes before you launch the game and once uh, you know, like disable it launch the game play the game and once you are done playing the game you can enable it once again if you have any third party antivirus like avast norton bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to your antivirus program and then launch the game now if you're using windows security then open windows settings go to privacy and security in windows 11 go to update and security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app browse all apps go to the game installation folder so in my case the game is installed in this location so go to the game installation folder select the game exe file click on open again click on add an allowed app browse all apps select the second exe file now click on open again browse all apps you can even add the launcher and then you can launch the game and then check still not working next step is to optimize game in nvidia app so you can just type in if you have nvidia app installed you can open nvidia app and then go to graphics over here now once you go to graphics you will see the game over here click on the game and then over here you will see the optimize button so hit optimize once the optimization is done now you can launch the game and then check next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1 1.5 1 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte i have 16 gigabyte of ram so 16 into 1024 i have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total ram so total ram is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 491152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to display uh, disable steam overlay now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game go to properties and then turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game if this is on turn it off if you have any other overlay application running like if you have discord running you can go to discord settings and turn off overlay if you have nvidia app running in that case you can go to settings and then you can turn off this nvidia overlay and then you can launch the game 
or you can simply close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Close all the overclocking application, like if you have MSI Afterburner running in your computer, you can close it. Now, if you have a Reva Tuner running on your computer, you can just close it. So sometimes these are hidden in the taskbar. So you can click on this up arrow over here. If you see MSI Afterburner over here, make a right click and then close it. If you see Reva Tuner over here, make a right click and then close it. So close or if you have any other overclocking application, close it and then launch the game. Next step is to install these files and then verify the game files. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click in the game, manage, browse local files. And then over here, you will see this install PSPC SDK runtime, make a right click and then click on run as administrator. Click on, click on yes to allow and let the installation complete. This process will take some time, maybe a few seconds or maybe a minute. And once this is done, you can launch the game and then check. So here you can see it's installing. Now you can launch the game. You can press any key over here. Launch the game and then check. Still not working, then you can install these two files. So you can just make a double click on this file and let the installation complete. Again, this will take a couple of seconds or maybe a minute. And once this is installed, you can launch the game and then check still not working in that case you can install this ps you can install this runtime manager file if once that is done now you can launch the game and then check still not working then verify the game file this is important do not skip this step make a right click in the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files now once the verification is 100 percent complete then you can launch the game and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to launch the launcher from the game folder. Now for this, you can go to Steam once again, make a right click in the game, select manage, click on browse local files. And then instead of launching the game from uh, uh, Steam, you can just launch it from here. First of all, you can launch the launcher, make a double click. Once the launcher is open, you can click on play or you can even use the exe file, make a double click and launch the game from here and then check. If that does not work, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, again go to properties, this time put a check over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, select Windows 7, make sure that you hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working, put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. And do the same thing with this exe, exe file. Now, when you put a check on all these boxes, when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, then you can uncheck these boxes, hit apply, click on OK, and then follow the next step. Now, the next step is to Perform a clean installation of your graphics driver. This is important. So go to NVIDIA website. If you have NVIDIA card, if you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So to perform a clean installation, go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10 and then click on find. And once you click on find, you will see this page. Now here you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver. Now click on view. And then once you click on view, you will see the download option. Click on download and let the download complete. Now once the download is complete, run the exe file. Now once you run the exe file, you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue. And then select custom option over here. By default express would be selected. Select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now amd card users can go to amd website first of all uninstall the current uh, graphic card driver after you uninstall it, restart your computer and then go to AMD website, select your graphic card and then install the latest graphic card driver. Again, restart your computer and then launch the game. 
Next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphic settings in Windows search box and then go to graphic settings. Click on add desktop app and then select the game exe file over here and then click on add. Once the game is added, scroll down and then find the game in the list. Now once you find the game, click on the game. Over here you will see GPU preference. Now set it to high performance and you will see your graphic card. Do the same thing with the second exe file. Click on add desktop app. Select this exe file, click on add. Again, scroll down and find the game in the list and then click on the game. Select high performance and you will see your graphic card over here. Select it and then launch the game and then check. Still not working. Uh, then the next step is to you unplug all the external devices. So if you have HOTAs, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnected, disconnect extra controller connected, disconnect multiple monitor, try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any third party services running or uh, any kind of services or application which you are not using, just close it and then launch the game. Next step is to update the BIOS. Do not ignore this. Go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number and then find the latest BIOS, update the latest BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer when you update the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game and then check. Now the last step is to uninstall the game and then install it to different drives. So if nothing is working, you can simply make a right click on the game, select manage. Now click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to any other drive like D drive or E drive, try to install the game to C drive and then you can check. If the game is already installed to C drive, then try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run the game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.